Hello and welcome back. In this section, we're going to get hands-on with v 8 using a client to interact with v 8 instances. We'll explore how to instantiate a client and dive in some examples using both REST and GraphQL APIs to do everything from retrieving metadata to performing generative searches. First, let's talk about client instantiation. To access your v 8 instance, you'll need to create a client object with the host URL which is the location of your wv8 instance, like this one shown here. If authentication is enabled, you'll need to provide authentication information like the wv8 API key. If you're using a Vectorizer service like Cohere, Hugging Face, or OpenAI, you'll also need to provide API keys for them. After instantiating your client, you can start making requests to your wv8 instance. For example, in Python, you can use the client to talk to both the REST and GraphQL APIs. Note that the REST API is typically used for CRUD operations and retrieving metadata, while the GraphQL API is used for queries such as retrieving data objects or exploring vector spaces. Below, we've prepared a set of hands-on exercises with code examples, so you can try them out yourself and compare the responses to our expected responses that are also provided. And when you're done with them, feel free to try varying the queries to see what happens. We're really excited to have you get started with wv and to see for yourself firsthand what it can do for you and your data. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.